Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church, Emmett, California. I'm glad you joined me. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 says, In a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets first prize. To win the contest, you must deny yourselves many things that would keep you from doing your best. Um, great teaching there. If you're going to get somewhere in life, reach goals, you're going to have to determine that there may be some things you have to let go of. You can't drag everything along with you in order to get to the goals that you set or that God really sets in your life. In fact, the truth is no horse ever gets anywhere until he's harnessed. <laughs> it's hard for a horse to go across the finish line or even run on the racetrack unless somebody's guiding him. No life ever grows great until it is focused and dedicated and disciplined. So in order for a person to get somewhere in life, at least the way I look at it, is for them to have good goals in their life, to be guided in their life, and to be willing to work at it and to pursue that goal as best they can for the rest of their life until they reach and even surpass their goals. That's called, I guess, old school, uh, just traditional values of work ethic and being focused. But it really comes to us from the Bible. That's the whole idea. And that's why it says in a race. Actually, in this life, uh, I'm at the point where I'm not racing anymore. I'm walking. But it takes endurance and perseverance to keep on walking and walking and pursuing the goals God set for me in my life. Life is not easy for you or for me. But with God's help and the encouragement of our friends, and as we encourage them also, it's interesting. It's much easier for us to reach our goals and just keep on keeping on until we cross the finish line. I was reading a story about Charles Oakley, who was a forward for the New York Knicks. He was an NBA All-Star. He had a reputation for being one of basketball's best rebounders. Uh, in his toughness, However, he was probably contributed the most to his outstanding career just through being determined. And while other professional players seem to be have frequent injuries or sidelined for other reasons, Oakley had very few injuries during his career. And even though he had absorbed a lot of physical punishment and injuries probably that he didn't complain about, um, he was often pushed, he was fouled, uh, he put in miles and miles in each game, running up and down the court. Uh, he frequently dove into the stands for loose balls to the extent that the courtside media would tease him because he was always uh, a kind of a working hazard to the media. According to Oakley, his tenacity and energy were instilled in him by his grandfather, Julius Moss. Moss was a farmer in Alabama who did most of his field work by hand in those old days. Other people, he said, had more equipment than he did. He didn't have a tractor, but he got the work done. No excuses. Moss, who died in 1990, developed all kinds of aches and pains in his life, but he laughed at him and he went about his business. In other words, he got his job done. Oakley saw a lesson in that. Nothing should prevent him from earning a day's pay, even though he was an NBA all-star. So being focused, being dedicated, and being disciplined can make the difference for you or for me between a mediocre life and a great life. God bless you. I certainly hope that encourages you to keep on keeping on. All right, and I'll see you next week.